Hey there everybody, welcome to Tuk Tuk's Trinkets and Terrain. Uh, if you've seen my last couple of videos, you will know that I've been trying to reduce uh, my bits box and just the random things that I've had lying around for too long, and this video is no different. Uh, but I decided to make a monster instead of some terrain, um, just using what I had on hand, really no outside influence or inspiration other than that. Uh, and I created this, I'm just calling it like a chaos beast, just kind of a bunch of random hodgepodge stuck together, uh, but I think it turned out really cool. Um, so I'm gonna show you what I did and how I did it, and I hope you enjoy. So the start of this project were these, uh, the leftovers from these Final Faction toys that you can get from the dollar store. I've used these in a few different projects, but the torso and the legs uh, were leftover bits, so I decided to use the legs to make some sort of creature. And then this is just a dinosaur toy from the dollar store that's been sitting around for a while. So after chopping off the legs and the head uh, to make room for these new legs, I just tacked them on with some hot glue to get the sort of proportions and make sure all the legs were flat, uh, touching the ground. I shoved some aluminum foil in the back here to provide more of a surface for the legs to be glued to as well as just strengthen the body. It's pretty cheap plastic, so it's really flexible. Um, and then again, just tacking these on uh, with some hot glue, making sure to keep them all level. So to add some detail and cover up the large uh, holes around the legs, um, I got this bag of leather scraps from uh, the thrift store or Goodwill or someplace like that. It's just a bunch of random pieces of leftovers. Um, I've had these for a really long time and I've never used them in any sort of terrain or monster build so I thought uh, that I could try to do something with them and I landed on making sort of like skin uh, over this like maybe the this creature is diseased or undead and there's bits of skin still clinging on to the muscle underneath um, so using some scissors I just trimmed out some different shapes of the leather pieces starting with the obvious holes uh, where I cut away the dinosaur's legs uh, but to rough up the edges and make them a little bit more like they were torn instead of cut, um, I just took my X-Acto blade and sort of scraped it along the edge. This really roughed it up and made it a lot more natural looking rather than a nice clean cut from the scissors. Uh, and then just attach these into place using some hot glue, using the X-Acto blade here just as a tool to sort of push uh, the leather where I needed to go. And then just repeated that a bunch of times pretty randomly all over the creature. This also helps secure the legs in place since the hot glue uh, was not holding the legs properly. Uh, this really made sure to keep everything nice and sturdy. And for the head, um, I came across this, I think it's a Nurgle arm. I don't play Warhammer, so you'll have to forgive me. Um, but this is obviously like half of some sort of arm. And I thought that it would make an interesting head, um, sort of like these tentacles are sprouting out of where the head once was. So I did trim up the finger there to make it look less like fingers. And after gluing in a chunk of aluminum foil, I just hot glued that into place. And then obviously this is one half of an arm, so I just filled in that gap with some hot glue since this was pretty amorphous to begin with, um, and it really wasn't going to be seen um, all too much, so this just provided a nice curved uh, backside to the tentacles here. Once that was all cured, I wanted to add some sort of pustules and growths along the body since there's some very small ones on the tentacles on the front there. So just picked up some green stuff, made some balls, and just pushed these on, trying my best to melt them into the dinosaur, try and make it look like they belonged or at least were growing out of uh, the skin here. I think these were moderately successful. They definitely give you the idea that it's a growth or, or a pustule of some kind. Um, whether it's super accurate in terms of appearance is another question, but um, did that a bunch of times over everything. Try to do different sizes. But in the long run, I'm, I'm happy with how it came out, even though it definitely could have been done a, a little bit better. Next up was to paint everything. Um, after a nice base coat with some black primer, um, I painted all of the sort of fleshy bits with this dark red sort of wine color. Uh, and then while that was still wet, I used some yellow and some greens to uh, not only paint all of the pustules, but add in some random sort of discolored sections of the flesh. Uh, again, sort of going into an undead or a diseased uh, direction with this creature here. 
And then once that was dry, I hit all of the fleshy bits with a brighter red uh, to bring out some of the textures of the legs um, and the dinosaur skin. And then for the leather, the, the skin bits themselves, uh, I based these in a dark brown. Uh, and then I added some vague stripes with a tan color uh, while it was still wet. Uh, again, these are pretty sloppy, could have been done better, but I think overall the effect gets there. Uh, I then washed everything um, with the leather. I just did a dark brown and then all over the flesh, I did the, I think it's Reikland flesh, flesh shade. And then once everything was dry, I very, very gently did a dry brush with a light gray over the uh, skin and fur bits to make it look a bit more, uh, I guess, dead and, and worn. For this next step, I was just trying to get some sort of gross factor involved. Um, so this is just some gloss Mod Podge that I'm covering all of the uh, flesh with. Not being too careful, letting it spill over onto the skin and the fur. I have found that if you use sort of a bottle brush and really jab at it, you can actually uh, get some air and bubbles into the Mod Podge and you get this really sort of interesting foam uh, once it dries, which I think makes it look pretty gross. So you can kind of see it here. It, it kind of washes out on the camera, but um, adds a nice uh, sort of extra detail on top of making it all shiny and glossy. Uh, and then for one last step, um, this is UV resin that I have mixed in a little bit of alcohol ink to dye it up. Um, and then I'm just going to sort of spread this around randomly, trying to focus on the pustules and the growths with the green and then around the edges of the fur with the red. Try to invoke some, uh, we'll say, fluids that are coming off the body. Uh, and then again, this is just UV cured. Um, and after that's all done, this is the final result. Um, I think I definitely got there with the grossness. Um, the fur is not as good as I would like it to be, but overall, I'm very happy with this. It's creepy, looks good, so um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy. Don't forget to hit the like button if you did enjoy the video and subscribe for future videos. I do have an Instagram account where I post in-progress pictures and other things that I've got going on. I also have an Etsy shop where you can purchase dungeon tiles and terrain accessories to use in your tabletop games. Both of those links can be found in the description below. But more than anything, thank you so much for stopping by. We'll see you next time.